What I go on, peace, what I go on. It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. And if you are here, you are here for the next instalment of the card interpretations, which is number 12, The Hangman. But before we get into that, why are you not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. Because you know I'm working my way through the tarot decks. And how are you going to know when I actually produce another leaflet for you? Because dun, 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 this actually comes with a leaflet that you can get free of charge. And it's open to the public on my Patreon. But I do do an extended to that leaflet, which goes into greater detail in the basic, de in the basic leaflet. It's just the introduction and the general description. But in the extended, we not only go through the introduction, the general, the spirituality, the work, the lovers, and we go through finance mm -hmm. and all sorts. And we also do the reversals mm -hmm. on all of those in the actual extended leaflet. So if you'd like to have access to that, just come and join me on Patreon, because that's where the action is at. But let's get on with this, shall we? Because, and I'm sorry about the light, I just, it's just, it's just in between the day and night. It's just a miserable day where I am. So I had to turn on the light to get some brightness, but unfortunately it's cast in a shadow. So please forgive me. But what is my interpretation of the hangman? Because I should have said, I'm going to do my interpretation of the hangman. I'm going to show you some of the other decks that have the hangman and how it's depicted in those decks. And you can see the differences. And then I'll give you a textbook general description of the hangman to help you on your way to do more research or indeed to go and get one of my leaflets. So here we go. What do I think of the hangman? Well, to me, the first thing I see is stagnation, fogginess. Something or someone is actually causing, well, it's not chaos, it's like someone, it's self-inflicted. But sometimes when I look at this card, depending on the card, it's like it's a self-imposed thing. Like somebody's actually stagnating themselves deliberately at their own will. What do you think this means, people? I mean, I guess in reverse, if you want to look at this in reverse... Okay, that's somebody suddenly getting clarity. They can come off of this hanging tree and then they can, or whatever it is, because some of them is hanging off of different things, isn't it? But do you notice, if you look at this picture, this guy's hanging off the tree, okay? But do you see that it's like a little, it's not even tied properly and he's got another foot in an angle. Now, if this was self-imposed, okay, if... The, not itself impulse, but if this was forced on somebody, okay, do you think somebody would be hanging like that with their, their, with their angled, the other leg angled like that? This is somebody who's deliberately stagnating because, uh, uh, dare I say, I've been reading men from Mars, women from Venus, okay, and I got to a chapter where it talks about men like rubber bands, and if, particularly men like to have their space sometimes it gets too much intimacy gets too much for them sometimes and they want their rubber band and this is what this card reminds me of this man wants to have his space his isolation he's got problems he needs to be thinking about and this is what i get from this card i do see first and foremost stagnation but when you turn it around if it comes in reverse it's about the um enlightenment it's about clarity it's like downloads and now they can go back on their way and go back into whatever and come out of their cave and this is what i get from this but this is like a self-imposed stagnation if you know what i mean anyway i mean it's it's not a bad it's not really a bad card some people can make it sound like it's bad but it's not really it's somebody who's self-imposed this stagnation on themselves because they've got stresses or worries they want to think about or there's just things they're withdrawing from and they want to be stagnant so it's in the hangman mode it's, it's all about the hanging around isn't it anyway let me show you some other cards from some other decks so you can see the depiction on there because i think sometimes the depictions are important in some of these cards because it ignites the intuition and whatever's in the card. So let's get to the first one. So the first one I've got here is the Spellcaster's Tarot. And this is the hangman in this card. Isn't that a strange hangman? It's almost like someone's dead or dying and they've just been hung in the tree. But 
it's just another depiction. Do you see like the um, representation of night and day? It's like this person's been hanging around forever. And this tree could even be the tree of life. It's so old, isn't it? And if you don't know what the tree of life is, go look it up, okay? <laughs> but in some books, they give you a description about somebody called Old Dan who actually stayed in the tree of life, hung in the tree of life deliberately. And after that, I think it was the eighth day, they actually got enlightenment some spirit. So this is what this is representing. Do you know what I mean? But but again, I told you I'm big on research. So I do look into these things. And I did see some description about this. Do you know what I mean? So the hangman here is very different. So let's look at another one. And I've got here the raven's prophecy. So this is the raven's prophecy. And this is the hangman in here. Now, you know it's all about the ravens. So, of course, it's going to be a raven hanging upside down. But do you see again that it's not actually tied to the tree? He's just hanging upside down because it's self-imposed again. Do you get the? Do you get? Do you get what I'm saying here now? The hangman. Some people think the hangman is 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 um been trapped on there on purpose. There is a few cards that show them they're hanging. You know, like not purpose, but like other people have trapped them there. But it's not very often. And again, this is depicting this uh, per person doing it for on their own will. And this is what it is. So. I'm going to get, I've got two more here, I'll be quick. But what I've got here now is the hanged man in, which deck is this now? Let me just find out for you, bear with me a second. Oh, I love this deck, the spirit within tarot, okay? And this is the hangman here. Now, I do recommend these cards. I've done a review on most of these. I haven't done it in the spells caster because this has been around for a while and there must be a lot of, there must be a lot of, um, reviews although i still could do it i guess if i run out of cards <laughs> but this hangman is very uh, typical it's like somebody hanging from a string from a tree but it's like, again this person's got their other leg angled like it is not it's it's self-imposed it, they've done this with their free will and this is what the hangman's about it's about stagnation and nine times out of ten it's because of worries about getting away from things just stagnating and closing the door and going into the cave whether you're a man or woman sometimes women need a alone time too I love I love my alone time. I love when I'm not busy. I can slouch about and be lazy and do what I want to do. But nine times out of ten, that doesn't happen with me because I've got too much to do. But I'd love to hang around like this. Anyway, one more card. And this is a brand new deck for me. It's called... And it's very... Um, it's very non-binary is the word because although that's meant to be a woman that could pass as a man couldn't it but this is called the nero tarot okay and the hangman in this again is very nondescript but again it's like suspended in midair in in reverse and again the leg is angled but this is very abstract don't you think so it says hanged woman this deck is specifically for self-care and self-love and it is a tarot deck that is for self-care and self-love and it's got very detailed stuff in it i'm going to do a review on her it's brand new i got it today but i've already used it on tiktok but this is the hanged woman isn't that a fantastic card it's, it's nice to see a different depiction isn't it but as I said, this one is very abstract and you could pick up on the colours if you wanted to. But again, if you had turned it upside down, she's enlightened. This is somebody who's actually got the message, who's actually got some clarity. And this is what this is all about. So I'm going to leave it there with all these decks and I'm going to give you the textbook version. It's a short one. But like I said, if you want more detailed, come and join me on Patreon where there's loads of exclusive content. And I'm going to I'm going to put it on here on the enlightened one and give you the actual textbook version of this card. OK, so it says here, life may seem to be in a bit of suspension, but this offers the opportunity to look at matters from a different and fresh perspective, which will bring a possible solution through better understanding. This card can indicate self-sacrifice. Sometimes we need to let go of something in the shorter term to gain something considered far more beneficial in the longer term. 
It can represent delayed gratification, which is also a form of self-sacrifice. The Hanged Man card, despite its appearance, is not one to be feared. Remember, the figure is in a voluntary position. You get what I'm saying, peeps? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give us a little comment and tell me what you think about it. Remember, Patreon saw it first. <laughs> Patreon saw it first. So come and join me on Patreon. They get the basic, they get the exclusive, they get extended videos that is not going to see the light of day apart from on patreon so come and join us there and don't forget to subscribe hit the alert bell so you know when i'm going to do another video because as you've seen some some of my videos even though i like to do the reviews because people do still like to see reviews you know because they like to see what they're buying and they like to see whatever and they like this kind of thing to teach the basics of um, why am I talking about reviews? Because I'm going to do a review on this one. That's why. I'm sorry, people. This is about card interpretations. And people still like to see these things to give a basic understanding of the card. And maybe some of my fans will like to know what my perspective of each card is as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care till next time. And what is next? Who knows? Number 13, because this is number 12, the hangman in the major arcana. So take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>